This is a Rock Chip 3399. This is the first uh, big little from Rock Chip. And it's uh, right here. What are we looking at here? What is this? Um, it's the SDK of uh, 3399. So the SDK, that means it's a software development kit for your partners to use this and connect with all kinds of different external yes, yes. Uh, solutions. Yes. Connect displays and uh, everything. So yes. this is a six core CPU. Yeah, it's a big little 2A72 plus 4 uh, A53. And this is the first time Rockchip is doing a big little yes. architecture. So now it's the big little designs are very, very stable and uh, ready for mass production. Like, uh, like this is going to be... Yes, all, all of this product. All these kinds of products. Yes. So we're looking at drones. Drums. At car, the yes. rock chip car mm -hmm. of the future, and the uh, robots, robots and the Chromebooks. Uh, yes, two in one tablet, uh, game box, uh, VR parts, uh, video box, and uh, all, all, a lot of things like uh, so a lot of uh, servers, and it's a yeah. it's very wide the platform. Very wide platform, and yes. you you do uh, also a USB Type C with DisplayPort output. That means they can be very compact devices with built-in video output, video audio output. Yes. And uh, VP9, H.265, HDMI 2.0, 4K, mm -hmm. 10 bit. Yes. So this is uh, this is gonna be one of the most popular uh, big little chips ever. No? Mm -hmm. Is it gonna be mass production, big quantity? Yes. Um, actually, we have uh, seven features, very main features, you can see over there. Um, I think this is the world first double dual USB 3 type, type C. C, yes. And uh, we also With got, port, yes, so we, we also yeah. got the HDMI 2.0 and the PCIe built this in PCIe. PCIe. So we have yes. PCIe here, what can you do yes. with PCIe? Um, this one. This one there, it's possible to connect like external Wi-Fi, external uh, networking, and all kinds SATA. of stuff. SATA, like SATA. a big hard drives. Yes. Also supported. All right. Mm -hmm. And uh, what are we looking at here? Uh, this is our VR product. So this is a very big VR headset with built-in headphones. Mm -hmm. And uh, so there will, there will be... Um, the 3399 is going to be the smart future of VR also. So we're talking about all-in-one VR and drone, drone and robot. It's a cool, and we can see some of the specs over here. Okay. Still small details features there. You see the big little architectures and the 64-bit CPU. And the GPU part is the latest model GPU. So that's the the 864 series. Uh, this this is a jump in performance compared to 3288. Yes. So it's a jump in performance for the CPU and for the GPU. Mm -hmm. yes. A significant jump. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Do you talk Do you talk about the percentage uh, improvement? Um, actually, um, I can release for the G G uh, GPU part, um, the performance increase for uh, 45 percentage. 45 percent on yes. the GPU? Yes. All right. And the CPU, we will see what happens exactly, May maybe. Uh, the end of April. End of April? Yes. Well, this already the middle of April, so yes. it's coming yes. very, very soon. Mm -hmm. And uh, there will be Chromebooks. Um, We'll check you later. <laughs> tell us, tell us. So there's okay. going to be potentially a huge jump in performance in all these uh, areas right here. And so this is the successor for the 3288. Huh? Yes. This is the, the next generation with all this stuff going on. Cameras is good. Yeah, do 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 I speak? 60 million. Are we talking about 4K displays? Dual VAP. One supports, there can be two so dual displays. 4K VP9. Yeah. This 4K 10 bit, H265, 264, and uh, at uh, 6 FPS. 60 FPS. Yes. All right, so it's right here, and uh, products arriving. How soon can people buy uh, products? How soon people can buy it? Q3? Uh, maybe. Around Q3. Around Q3. Yes. 
mass production of products all over the world with the yeah, Rock Chip 3399. Yeah.